<laughs> I mean, where do they sell them? They're just, I mean, are, are they always that, I mean, well behaved and beautiful and all that? I mean, in tobacco, my, no, my, you can't hide it. You know, there are some kids, you know, when you take them out and, um, you know, they're very, uh, yeah, sharp. You are, you are afraid. You are afraid before this boy goes to disgrace me now. Yeah, no, I mean, there was no rehearsal or anything. This okay. morning, I was still telling them that they should never call me daddy again. They should always call me Baba Me. Why? Because, I mean, <laughs> you know, that, that was how I grew up. Okay. You understand? And, I mean, in school, all they learn is English. They are teachers, they are friends, all the speaking is, is English. So our heritage is just going to vanish if we don't start, you know, inculcating this in, in those kids. So it's, nice. It's important. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. All right, guys. Uh, I told you we were going to be joined by another movie person. Very delectable. Every time I read about her, it's always about something that she wore or something she didn't wear, as the case may be. Always talked about in terms of delectable, hot tamale, hot pepper, mm. hot, 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 and all that. Her marital status is always in question mm. because she's that good looking. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on the show, Miss Halima Abubaka. Sorry, the band stopped playing before you sat down. We're supposed to time it, but you know, so can, can we do that again? Just stand the band now, so just play so she can sit. Just no, Alima, just stay there. It's a plane so that you can sit. All right, play something so she can sit. Just a sitting something, a sitting something. Oh, yeah, sit. sit. Uh, now, now you overdid it. Overcompensating. Uh, we are Hello. wearing the same thing. <laughs> we are wearing. It seems that. Uh, oh my God. Ow. My trouser was made out of the material that Seriously. was left. Seriously. You know, let's talk about who is your tailor. <laughs> because sometimes tailors have... lie. They claim that the material is not enough. They make it for somebody else. You're right. But uh, I had to buy extra one for her to add up so that it can at least. Oh, okay. can, can can you remove it? Because let me see what it looks like. If... Are you sure you want me to? Yeah, sure. Oh. If you if you don't mind, because there I are don't things mind. spilling. I don't want you. <laughs> The place. Let me just see what. I you hope you're not gonna say I'm sexually harassing you. No, no, harass me. <laughs> if you want, I, I just want to see what I look like in a in a oh, female okay. jacket. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm just practicing to be like a magician. So let's see if this works for me. And if it's fitted, I will leave it for you. Thank you, but no. <laughs> <laughs> and here goes. Um, People need to see this. I mean, Aww. <laughs> what could ever possess a man born of a woman? <laughs> Not picked up on the road <laughs> to leave his house dressed like this. And you see them all the time. Charlie, <laughs> those preachers. Revival, revival, revival. For, for, forgive me, forgive me. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice. Alima, wow, it's, it's hot in your jacket, though. Oh, seriously? Yeah, some of your hotness is still left in the jacket, so <laughs> I was, uh, you know, still... Do I need I was... to take this back on, or should I just... I mean, it's your... I mean, you could wear it if you want, if you don't want... Um... No, no. Let's enjoy it. All right, you guys like her like this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So, wh what's up? Where have you been? Well, I've been uh, medicating. I've been in the hospital sleeping. Taking drips. Yeah, That's what's... what I've been doing. What's wrong with you? I had a little um, fever. So exhaustion, dehydration. So, but I'm back on my feet. I'm very good. I didn't. I was just. Um, I was just um, greedy. From last year till like last month, I was working nonstop, which I call greed. So that was the result of. It. All right, movies, yeah. Yeah, of course. Movies, 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 movies. Tell me, I um, the the Nigerian. What do you people call it now? Is it movie or home video? What do you people call it? Nolly. Well, you do movie. You do movies. That's right. Filmmaker. Isn't it? He's a filmmaker. He's a filmmaker. Yeah. The rest of you are what makers? I'm an actress and now a filmmaker too. You're In the future, I hope to be like this. Yeah. Oh, in the future, you hope to be like. So that's your hero. Film. <laughs> well, I I am a huge fan. In case I've not oh. said that before, I love all his movies. Yeah. He's an amazing, amazing, amazing filmmaker. Seriously. Wow. Yeah. And I love the fact that he is not trying to. You know, he doesn't discriminate if you're big as long as you can act. 
Okay. That's the essence of, uh, you know, a filmmaker. But some people say you have to go on diet. You have, I mean, you use the um, media uh, of the Lydia. sun. I love her. Mm. She's an amazing actress. And I felt so happy that she gave her that role. You are uh, not being life sentimental. Is not, life is uh -huh. not all about the uh -huh. So, <laughs> I'm, I mean, the talent is what people should, you know? Because all the time people tell me, Halima, lose weight, blah, blah. I'm like, lose weight? I love food. Yeah. How can I lose weight? And I look <laughs> sick, you know? If I lose weight, all this won't be there. Mm. And that yeah. means I'm really going to be dry. And I mean, I, I, I don't think um, 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 it, uh, a character should be based on, uh, f you know, your physics and your facial outlook. Well, did, did you just say you love food? I love food. Oh, yeah. How many times do you eat in a day? Five. Five times? Yeah. <laughs> they said we should eat five times a day. <laughs> Seriously. Five times. I mean, I've heard of three square meals, but what? Five? Five, five. circle meals? No, five can be Gary and Ekpa. It can be uh, maybe Bolly. It can be corn. It can be anything. So I, I incorporate everything together. Five times a day? Yeah. So when do you stop eating? At six now. You stop but, eating at six? Yeah, now? before 11 p.m. Well, do you get paid to eat? <laughs> no, because you close so late. You know, sometimes uh, my wonderful, wonderful producers want to just finish on time. So, you know, we'll shoot till 1 a.m. And then that's when you eat. Wow. So it's not easy to lose that weight, you know. Okay, okay really? So you're married yet? Oh, no, I'm not. Why well, not? People are so in a hurry to give me a... Yeah, because I keep reading about you. I'm not dating this. I'm not dating that. Why don't you just end all of it by getting married? That's what I, I think. Well, I'll pull a, 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 a stunt soon. So just, um, but the truth is that uh, is it all marriages that are happy? I'm sorry. Because, I, I mean, I'm going to be living with a man, not them. So I wonder why they are so in a hurry to give me away. My parents are not complaining. You know, I just clocked 29. So I think I still have a little bit of age uh, before I get married, you know? You're 29. Wow. Well, he, he didn't particularly believe that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my father. Oh, he's so handsome. How? With tribal marks? How? Yeah, it looks sexy. <laughs> really? Are you trying to say Alima, like, because we're, dis we're discussing it. I'd rather say that if I had tribal marks, I would have been fine. You're a cute guy. With tribal marks? That's it, yeah. You know what I've, I've done? I'm not advising this for anybody. It's violence. But you know all those things where you, they say that some people go mad and just <laughs> enter the house and put food poison in everybody's food? Yeah. And they all just go. That's what I would have done around when I was 15. Oh, no, you wouldn't. No, still... I heard it. Was it Lupus or I thought it had Max? Yeah. But I think Seal is one of the most handsome men that I've seen. Maybe probably I'm weird, but I just. No, no, maybe it's the kind of television you watch. <laughs> <laughs> Seal is one of the most handsome men to you. Amazing. You know, at this point, describe your kind of man. Because I'm so just sure. Just like Seal. Describe like Seal. Yeah. So, with the money too. He's so, sexy. dark, pox mm -hmm. mark. Yeah, uh, he's sexy. <laughs> he Still is gorgeous. Sexy. He's almost um. Excuse pretty. me, did you just say, Tukule, did you just say he's sexy? <laughs> you can, like, just, no, no, you can. He disturbs me when he no, man just says cover another his man. Face. <laughs> How can you cover his face? I'm, I'm liking the face you're covering. Uh, no, I mean. So, a man Still can be for you if he's, if he's, if he's, just describe your man. He, no, I just is it in the height or in the. He has to be tall. I'm sure. I'm sorry. I'm small. Okay. Yeah. Because well, you're not short. small. You're not just vertically inclined. But on I'm the, not on, in on the horizontal, you are, you are very. <laughs> if you were a bank, if you're a bank as you are right now, you are a Shonic bank. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank uh -huh. you. So, I mean, you're not small, really. I mean, what do you mean you're small? I can't carry you. Who say? Do we try it? I do not want to try. <laughs> I can assure you, I, can't, I, I promise you, I can't carry you. All right. I, I have some work for you before I get into your work. I hear that you're a, you're a very, very, uh, what's the word we use now? What's the word you used to uh, describe people, qualify people who have a giving heart? People who go to uh, orphanages and motherless babies. Or, Philanthropy. Eh, eh? Philanthropy is not the word I'm looking for. Generous is not the word I'm looking for. What do you call yourself? Humanitarian. Okay, maybe maybe a humanitarian. You, yeah. I hear that you give things to all these places. Yes, I did because uh, while growing up, I was very hungry. You know, my dad. Were... Sorry, not to make a joke out of it. You know, it is said that the things that you like when you're growing up are the things you hold on to when you <laughs> grow up. So when you were growing up, you were very hungry. At eleven, over hungry, worry me. And now you like food. I love food. And you eat five times a day. <laughs> yeah. Justified. So, uh, <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not my fault. How were you very hungry uh, when you were going on? Uh, well, uh, my dad worked with Savannah Bank, and we all know what happened then. So, and um, he was due for retirement anyway. Now he has a farm, which is growing. I'm happy. And my mom was a midwife then. And then she left too. So everything just closed, you know. It was just funny. And, um, of course, I started to work so that I can support the family after a while. 
So I started working at 14. And my first paycheck was 216 naira. Doing what? Looking for flies to kill in a restaurant. <laughs> you, you're kidding. I'm telling you, the Chinese people say, I didn't kill fly, kill fly. I'm going to go, kill fly. And I was telling you, where is the fly? Because I need to kill to get my salary. <laughs> Excuse me. You, you, you cannot be serious. Did you? I'm serious. You used to work in a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. And your job description was to kill. <laughs> That's all. Because if I don't stand, then I'm like, oh my God, with the head tie and the apron, and I'm just. Halima! No sitting down. Kill if you like, kill if you like. And I'll be like, yes, I kill fly. And if I don't kill it seriously, that day I'm in trouble. What, what were you supposed to be cleaning the flies with? There's something, I don't know. You just, if the fly would just go in. So oh, that it makes shocks that, fly. Yeah, so okay. it makes that noise and then the man So people smile. are sitting, eating in the restaurant. Yeah, you're I'll going be, over them. I'm telling you. Excuse me, Oga, please move your meat. No, I want to take that, that fly. There's something there. I, I need to, to clean it. it. Seriously, it was crazy. But I did all that. Then I worked in another restaurant. I think I like food. Generally by now, you guys should know yeah. that. I like working in um, where they sell food. So it's free food for me, that's why. Uh -huh. So <laughs> the second salary was 3,000. And if I don't come a day, they take 17 naira out of that salary. So if maybe I have um, fever and I'm off for five days, you can imagine my salary. Around 50 the, uh, that's a, no, I mean the 3,000, that's my second job. This yeah. is, the 250 was yeah. my first job. Yeah, you said if you don't come for five days, I mean one day is 17 Oh, era. yeah. So 17, 5, 350. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the rest is what What I were you doing in the want. second restaurant? Uh, Killing ants? Flies. No, <laughs> I'm serving food. Serving food, okay. Yeah. How long ago was this? I was 14. It's a long time. I'm yeah. 29 now. You're 29. Don't make me do the math. What year? Um, seriously, I cannot remember. All right, somebody do the math. 29 minus 14 is what? I left school a long time ago, so don't blame me. 15 years ago, what year? 1997. Yeah. Because 96, there was something that happened. You're right. 1997, mm -hmm. you were serving food in restaurants. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when did the movie thing happen for you? It started um, during that period because I was really sad and I wanted to just, you know, disappear from Kanu because I grew up in Kanu. So it's not a nice thing to say anyway, but I will say so I packed my bags, my parents were sleeping, and I left. <laughs> you definitely did not hear that. Let me get this right. You packed your bags one day when your parents were sleeping, and you took off. To Lagos. Without telling them. Yeah. This was a time when there were no GSM phones, no, and nothing. there was no way that nothing. it could reach you. Nothing. Then Turaya was on, and... Um, that eight one is it? Um, yeah, not nine not. No, not nine. Not. No, no, no. Yeah. Eight something zero one eight. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Rate, the fire rate phone. Or yeah. There is just this um, phone. Then I didn't have any number to call, so there was no use. But after nine months, I went back. Forget nine months. You took off to Lagos. When you got to Lagos, where did you go? I said I went straight to my auntie's place, and I told her my parents are aware because I know they can't call them. There's no phone, so I was there for a month. So when she goes off to work. I sneak around, uh, you know, going for auditions. I started with Tobey Restaurant, Echo Us, Winnie's. I was going just for a role in a movie because I wanted to act, you know. But I didn't get any, so I left back to Canada. Okay. And then. And what did your parents do when you got there? <laughs> you you want to know? Yeah. Okay. It was during fasting period like this. And my mom was pounding yam when I got to the gate. So I just stood there. And she just turned. She saw me. And she didn't say anything. She was just there looking at me like, well, what would I do to this child? And I said, I'm sorry. She now said, come and eat. Then my dad said, how was your trip? I said, wonderful. See, everything is okay. I said, yes. He said, okay. So after the um, <laughs> breaking of fast, he brought his belt and gave me the beating of my life. Ah, where's daddy? Where's he now? <laughs> He's he said, like, daddy, God bless you, sir. Daddy, God, you are, daddy, this is for you. <laughs> Oh, do you speak this any Yoruba? This is the first time I'm saying it ever. Is it, do you speak any Yoruba? No. Oh, my come along with you. <laughs> you ran away from home. Oh, your father beat you with a belt. Do you, do you have any idea how many strokes? Oh, over. It was not one day thing, no. The next day again, it was like for three days so that I would learn my lesson, you know? So, because I was supposed to be in school. Okay. And I left to go and act, you know? So I had to come back, started a project again. Like, my dad didn't talk to me for like two months and we're in the same house. Wow, the prince would have killed you. Um, I swear. My father never <laughs> believed in belts. Oh. It was canes of different, and he would send you to go and bring the cane. Yeah, I did that because I really didn't know he was going to do that to me. I thought he wanted to do it to, you know, my younger sister or something. You know, because he was so jovial and so nice. He said, Halima, 
Now sure, belt on the other side of them. That's Halima go and get that belt. Mm. So I went and I brought it and I said, Yato, Yato means sit. And I sat down, I was watching TV. Then I just said, pass, pass, pass. <laughs> Elena, get it. Oh my God. Wonderful. Children, you should never try that. Never. I, the, the, the trauma that she must have put daddy and mommy is just unbelievable. It's my mother that I even, you know, can imagine the pain she had to go through. Wow. All because of me. So my mother is my life. I don't joke with her. Because while I was gone, I, I know my dad, he's like a soldier. That woman. So in the <sighs> end, was it worth it? Now, yeah, I think they say it's worth it now. <laughs> wow. So are you saying I'm, that I'm, if you I'm, hadn't run away, that wouldn't have happened for you? It would have. I was very impatient because really, I mean, killing flies is not a good thing to do. And there was no other job. Oh, let me get this right. It was when you ran away, you were killing flies. Before then, I was killing the fly. Then I left because I was tired of killing flies. Were you killing flies in Kano? Yes. Okay, so you were killing flies in Kano, then you ran away from home. From Kano. My home from is Kano then. Okay, then you came to Lagos. Yes. To come and serve food. No, to come and act. To come and act. Okay, so he was killing flies and serving food in Kano. Yeah. Then he came and to come then, and act. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I went back um, nine months later because, oh my God, after a while there was nowhere to sleep. I'll put my bag somewhere just to sleep. Uh, my friends would say, stay, but I don't want my mom to know you're here. I'll be like, shh, you won't hear my voice. I'll just put my bag there. Lie down. When the mother is coming, I'll just hide. Because... A girl that young should not be outside, you know? So I did all that for a while and I wasn't comfortable. Then anymore. you went back? Yeah. You know what? Alima, I'd like to say I empathize, but all I can say for this is your story. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. I don't ever run away from home. And then, and then later on, you left again with your parents' blessings. Oh, yeah, that's after school. Then, after, then this time you got the acting jobs. Amazing. I'm a producer now. Come on. <laughs> yeah. All right, <laughs> Halima, me who has always wanted to direct uh -huh. my own film, okay. I've decided, good people, that what better time to make my directorial debut <laughs> than when I have Kulia Afolayo, actor par excellence, producer, Filmmaker. emeritus, director, or Gakwata in the house, and Halima Abubaka here, who fled from home <laughs> oh to go and act and return futilely after nine months <laughs> before she now went back. What better time? That to prove my directorial skills. So, Alima, I'm going to read from my script as a director, and you are going to act out in this movie. So, here we go. Drum roll, give me a drum roll there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the studios of Taju Jacobs, where like it comes, a Taju Okido production in association with everybody who has given me money for this show, featuring Kule Afolayo and Halima Abubaka. No, man. Bish. Try to follow your director. We'll take it again. Take two. It's how we do movies. Action. Ladies and gentlemen. Blah, 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 blah. All these things I've said before. Blah, 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 blah. Featuring Kuli Afolayo and Halima Abubaka. Aha. It was a sunny day. Give me such a panel. <laughs> it was you give panel. Not not to Para. No. Hey, like on video, like on video. I like that one. I like that one, like on video. I like that one. Yes. It was a sunny day. Oh, I see the sun. <laughs> the girl was sitting on the chair. Then she got tired of the chair. Get tired of the chair. Oh. You are the girl, Nana Kule be the girl. Oh, sorry. Then. She stood. She picked her bag. Where's your bag? Is that? Do you Don't need worry. It? Carry this one. <laughs> uh, wow, this is good. I know it's good. Return it when we finish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please don't say the lines I don't tell you to say, please. This is my production. When you get to your own, this thing be doing it anyhow. And then she decided she would go out. My friend, you decide, you do like this. Hmm. Oh, yeah. No, no. I'm taking my time. It's a process. You can't take your time. It's my mom. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. And don't talk on my set, please. She decided she would go out. Guy, oh, go come back. Look. Director of musicality. <laughs> Keep up with me here, please. And the girl decided she would go out. She walked. She walked. She stopped. She saw a lot of men looking at her. I want... Bam, bam. She saw a lot of men looking at her. Hey! Hey! So 
take it again. Take. She saw a lot of men looking at her. The men, where are you? Do like this. <laughs> and then she started to cut walk down the road. The men started to whistle. <laughs> and then she turned and decided she wanted to come back to the bus stop. Sound man. That's the bus stop. Ah, where is the bus? The bus stop. Not that one. Don't turn that one to them. Just turn <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, The show is PG-13. There are, there are children watching. She knew there were a lot of men looking at her. Soundtrack. Konga, Konga, give me porum, porum. Eh, hey, like home video. Boom, boom, porum, porum. The gentleman noticed that from where he was sitting. He stood up. Your body is too hot for this thing. You will get there eventually. My soundtrack now. Hey, hey. You know in no video, it doesn't matter whether it's happening in New York. It's the same native sound. That I mean. Oh yeah. Poco, 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 poco. He checked his mouth to see if his breath was fresh. It was not. It was not. So he looked around. What could he do? He decided to have some water. Water, somebody water, water, water. water. He drank some water. Ghosty water. And then he started to walk towards her. Dun, 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 dun. No, 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 no. Come back. Walker, come back. Oh, God, you're not giving what I want. Yes, sir. So that boom, 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 boom. I want like action. Let me that. Let me that. Let me that. Let me that. That is that's the one I want. Thank you very much. That's the one I want. <laughs> then he started to walk towards her. Let me that. Exactly. Now he got to her, and he started thinking to himself, "What can I tell her?" What can I tell her? And then he started to say these lines to her. Cut. At this point, I have to direct you on what you will do. <laughs> now, like all Nigerian videos, sometimes things don't follow themselves. Sometimes there's somebody who was holding a bag. Then all of a sudden, the bag disappears. <laughs> it happens here. And then they are holding something else. So I have to give you that as well. So, so <laughs> all of a sudden, in this, in this movie, for reasons we never saw before, the bag went, and she was holding a belt, and the koboko whip. Uh, this bell and this whip are supposed to be for the lines you're about to tell her. <laughs> That you thought of by yourself. <laughs> if he toasts you with the line <laughs> and you agree, you ring the bell. If the line works for you, <laughs> if the line doesn't work, work for you, like my friends say, when we go and toast the girl, boy, that girl tear your back. <laughs> you tear his back with the koboko. All right, so are you ready? I will direct you. You have to hold the bell so it doesn't ring. So it doesn't think that, uh, so you don't flash him. Exactly. <laughs> so Sorry, hold. Director. Yes. Um, you need to. Uh -huh. At some point, he's going to ask you for the time. You tell him the time. Just tell him anything. 2 p.m., 3 p.m., anything. Just tell I will take you. Just tell him. He will take you from there. One time. Okay, very good. All right, so back to our movie. I'm here, right? You are there? Okay, sir. All right. Act 1, scene 2. Uh, he steps up to her. And then he begins to speak. 
She knows she's going to judge his lines. Will it be Cain? David. Or will he ring a bell? David. Sorry, okay. Volume. Okay. Volume, please. In film, we don't scream. We don't shout. Well, in my, in my own film, you scream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. in, in my film, you scream. Okay. Uh, baby. The first line. Baby. Did you fart? <laughs> because you just blew me away. Oh, please. <laughs> That's a weak line. That's not how to beat a man. Would you, like me? <laughs> Would you like me to show you? No, it's my left hand. Don't worry. Would you like we to try your right hand? We don't need to make him cry. If you beat your actor, this is you okay. Won't be able to... Would you do that again? Give him the. I didn't hear that line. Please, the line is so lame. Say it again. In fact, I think I think you should both be here. Come, you should be in the light. Here you go. Come here. Okay. Come here. Aha. Here goes. Go. Again. Uh, baby. Uh, did you fart? Uh, because you just blew me away. Oh, please. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Please go here, please. I, 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 look, I, I'm the one I'll give you the reaction. And in home videos, reaction always comes two seconds after the action. Okay. So wait. So uh, beat him again. Oh, please. Ah, uh, then he jumps. Real. Jump from pain. And he jumps back. He tries another line. Hey, baby, uh, I'm not telling you this because I want to impress you, but I am Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, look, <laughs> you are not. <laughs> the, the children are delighted. Daddy is always beating them. <laughs> so it's nice to see daddy being beaten. <laughs> See Dara and her brother, they are absolutely, <laughs> see the boy, see the boy, see, see what he's doing. <laughs> absolutely delighted. All right, then, the third line. Um, if beauty were measured in time, then you will be an eternity. Okay, whatever. That one is nice. Ring bell, ring bell, ring bell, ring bell. I should ring bell. And uh, the third line, you won't want to hear her. Do you have time? It's nine o'clock. No, no, no. Uh, the time to write my number down. Oh, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, keep going, keep going. The next, the next one, the next one, keep going, keep going. Um, are you an interior decorator? <laughs> um, because, you know, when I saw you, the room became beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that... Hey. Look, 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 I don't, look, I, I don't have the sound to soundtrack this film and do sound effect at the same time. I need to be hearing the sound of the cane on his body. Oh, uh, right. people need to no, be hearing. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. Here goes. No, in film it's make believe. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you don't be okay. actors. As I don't have sound effects in God. <laughs> All right. All right, next one. Okay. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm Mr. Wright, and someone said you're looking for me. Who? She said, who? Who? <laughs> you know I'm those lame, lame lines? All right. Yes, all right. Uh -huh. Now go to the last one. Okay. To the last one. All right, go. Okay. This one is my favorite. Ah, uh, baby, um, you are like a student, and I'm like mathematics book. You solve my problems. Oh yeah, I I do something. I do one line. Come wait. I will have something against Kolya for lying. That's why you're busy. Was that line not good, baby? You are a student. I'm in mathematics book. You solve all my problems. For all those lame lines, when give me before this one. Anyway, so at the end of the day, get get nearer, get nearer. She thinks about it. He's a handsome man. He seems to have money. 
He seems to have money. She loves food. <laughs> it seems like he can provide for her. <clears throat> With that, she links her hand in his. Mm. And together, they walk down the aisle mm. into the sunset. Soundtrack, soundtrack, soundtrack. Mm. Yeah, my mathematics. <laughs> 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 so God be the glory. Part <laughs> <laughs> two, watch out for part two. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.